Okay guys, we're back here. I wanted to show you uh, Dan's car. I told you I had to pull the motor and tranny out because the torque converter wouldn't go in place. As you can see, the motor and tranny's out. Tranny's right here, torque converter's here. This here, if you look at this hub, this is the hub on the torque converter. Now, as you can tell, it's not very clean and cleaned up. You know, you got, I'm always very careful with this kind of stuff. I don't want any paint on here. And see how the rust is, and I don't know if you can, you can't even see this unless you're here, but it's got rough edges, not that this side matters, but it's got rough edges around here. This should be completely cleaned up in my opinion when you put it in the car. No paint, no nothing, nice and clean, smooth. You can do that with a piece of emery cloth. Obviously I got the micrometer out. We did, we did, our, you know, we did our measurement from this way, going across here. And if you don't know how to use a micrometer, obviously when you're reading this way, I'm just doing this real rough, you get a reading. Then you want to go into the inside. Well, this end opens up, so that's going to tell you the inside. But if you look carefully, what I found was if you look right here, it's beat. It's been beaten here with something. And that's created a lip here. And that's all it's going to take for this hub not to go inside here. So I'm just going to lightly take the die grinder and be very careful and grind that out. I'm going to wipe away all this crap that's going on in here. I'm going to clean the hub of this out, and then I'm going to try the torque converter with it obviously off without the motor, without the tranny motor together. I'm gonna to hold the torque converter up here and make sure it goes in place. Cause you can see right now, if I show you, if we can get in here. So we want this piece here to go in there. You can see it is not, it is not going in. It will not go in. And this here is where your bolts bolt up and they go on to here. And you can see the distance we got. So I am assuming that this is our problem right here that we got going on. So it's something that Dan probably just overlooked. It was a minor little miss for Dan. He probably didn't realize that. And uh, what is it costing Dan? Well, it's costing Dan a, uh, a day of me farting around and fixing this. So there you go. So we'll get right back to you after I grind this out and we'll see if it makes a difference. Like I said, I'm just gonna grind off the edge and hopefully that'll take care of it. Okay, we'll be ready guys. So I'm back here at you. So what I did, like I told the trusty emery cloth, like I say, it doesn't really matter so much about this end. This is where it rides is on here on this lip. So I cleaned it up and just, you know, it doesn't take much to clean it up. I just don't like shit. I don't like paint and debris on there. I don't like rust. So I cleaned all that up. Now you can see, as we showed you earlier, you can see where someone had pounded right here and it created a lip. But the more I looked at it more carefully, I don't know if you can see up here, it was also, you can just see it there. It was, it was pounded on too and had a lip. So I just took the die grinder very carefully. Where'd it go? I just took my trusty little die grinder with my little point and I just, just narrowed it down a little bit, and then again, I got in there with the emery cloth, did all that, made sure nothing, you know, there's no crap, and uh, away we go here, and now you can see, this is more of a video for Dan, if anyone, because we're doing this car for Dan, and he's obviously at work, and I want him to see that there was an issue. Um, I guess I'm basically showing him that here at Old Time Garage, we're honest, we're not just pulling the motor out and telling you we are, just for the hell of it. It actually is a problem, because trust me, I didn't want to pull the motor out. So, look at that. There you go, it lines right up. You can see everything is flush, it's going in. Now for the next step, in case some guys don't know what I mean, I don't know, sometimes these things are a bitch and sometimes they're not. I'm gonna show you what I mean. When you have a torque converter and you put it into your tranny, which obviously you slide it in, you kinda, I don't know if you even saw that. There's one, there's a click. There's two. I don't know, I might have, it might have already gone the third, it might have jumped ahead on me, and you guys didn't get to see it, but I don't think it did. I think it might have went at the very beginning, it did, it did. I can tell because I've been doing it for so long, I can just tell by the feel of my hand. So I'll pull this back off again for you. You're gonna slide your torque converter up on there, onto your shaft, okay? You're gonna go, it's all loose there. Sometimes the first click happens so quick you don't even know. There's one. And you see how I can still get my hand way in there. Don't leave your hand in there when you're pushing this in, of course. And I usually give it a little wiggle and a turn. Now you watch, this is where it's gonna be a bitch in a second. There's two. Come on, old girl. There's three. There we go. That's in. Now what happens is, you're gonna take your transmission. You got these holes right here, the bigger holes, that's your dowel pins on your motor. Okay, so you're gonna line your tranny up and your dowel pins are gonna go in there, it's gonna hold it in place, you're gonna put your bolts in. 
when you lift this motor up in the air to get underneath it, because it's hard for me to show you right now, but this, obviously you can see the tranny stops here, it's open here. This is still gonna be spinning around freely inside. Now, this is where you have your, your three points where it bolts on, and you must get the proper bolts to put the torque converter to the, uh, the flex plate. You must have the proper bolts. You can't just use any old bolts. Now, I know people do, but you should have the proper ones. What's gonna happen is, is when I go to pull this, when I go to mount this tranny up on here, the, the, um, the torque converter, which you've just seen, is gonna be sitting out probably around this far, the distance of my finger. And what you do is you just pull that torque converter forward, it'll just slide forward, and it'll line right up with these holes. And that was, a re that was a problem we had. The torque converter, the actual distance that it's gonna pull forward is basically the width of this inside here in the crankshaft. I hope this is a good video, guys, because I'm no good at teaching people stuff. But anyway, this is where it's going to push into, and you're going to you're going to pull that torque converter forward. It's going to go in here, and then you're going to put your bolts in, and you're going to go and get your first one in, get it kind of hand tight. Do your next one. Go around. Don't just torque one tight immediately. Do not do that. You don't do that with anything. Because think about it. If you're torquing one tight, what are you doing? You're flexing it. You're bending it. Tighten it up a little bit till it's kind of snug. Go around to the next one. Go around to the next one, and then get your torque wrench on it and torque them down. Um, and there you go. So that's what's gonna happen there. So anyway, Dan, if you're out there watching, there was your problem. Thank God it was something simple. Simple as that, but a pain in the ass because we had to disconnect everything and pull the motor and pull the tranny and all the bullshit. And uh, obviously Dan has all, you can see all this low car stuff on here. This is for his shifter, for his e-brake, everything. So he had to disconnect everything. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't your typical, let's yank the motor out in 20 minutes and put it back in. It was, uh, it's a little bit of time. But uh, in the end of the day, it was all good. We figured it out. It's uh, going to save them money on parts at least. And everything looks good that way. So that's it. I don't know what to say. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Pretty much all torque converters for Chevys, they're all the same. That, the hub, that, nothing ever changed in here. So if you're ever having this problem and you cannot get your torque converter to fit in, don't put the bolts in and force it in. Don't force it in and tighten it in. There's obviously an issue. Pull it back out and look. Look what we found. We found two spots where someone had banged it with a hammer. Just do it right the first time, even though it takes you a couple tries, get it right the first time. Trust me, it'll save you all the grief and all the bullshit at the end of the day. Okay, thanks a lot, guys.